What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Superman Justice League, model number MMS46516, Galba Hot Toys. Now if you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. If you enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing and hit that notification button to keep up to date with the latest videos coming out on my channel. So taking a look first at the packaging that Superman comes in, and we will pan through some pictures so you can see we are looking at the front of the packaging first it's got a nice picture of Henry Cavill as Superman it also says Justice League and has the model number and on the side there you can see the JL initials that wraps around the side with Superman as well written there and same on the other side just says Superman and then we'll move on to the back of the box where you can see that it says you can't save the world alone. So it's a nice, nice, decent packaging. So now we'll take a look at the accessories. So here are all the accessories that Superman comes with. It doesn't come with a lot, like all Supermans. We'll start off with the hands. So you get a variety of hands to swap out. You also get the standard spare wrist pegs. And you get this decent base, or stand, sorry. This is Justice League there, and Superman on the front there, and has this dynamic pose pole, so you can get Superman in all those Superman poses. Now, you also get an extra head sculpt. Now, I'm a little bit iffy about this head sculpt. I don't know if I like it or not. The teeth just look a little bit funny. Um, yeah, I don't know. But how you operate the eyes, so they light up, You've got this thing here, you basically um, switch it on, and then you slide it into the head sculpt. So, there you go, you switch on those lights, you slide that in there, and there you go, he's shooting lasers out of his eyes. It's a cool touch. Yeah, it's good that they've included this, I mean, as it lacks in accessories, so that's pretty cool that they gave us that. And that's basically all the accessories. So let's go ahead and take a look at Superman on the rotating stand. So he's on the rotating stand and he is an impressive piece. Now we're going to start off with some of the negatives that I feel are negatives. Um, some of the negatives I found is the body. And what I mean by that, it's I think, I think it's just too bulky. Like those shoulders, they just look a little odd. And then you can see there the biceps, where the elbows, the forearms sort of meet. Just looks really weird. Um, and the thighs, they're really big. The thighs are massive as well. So I do like the Man of Steel body. I think that looks more natural. I'm also not a fan of the second head sculpt. I love the idea, but it looks a little too evil for me. I know he's shooting lasers out of his eyes, but they could have gone with a more subtle approach. That's just my opinion. Also, the boots, the dreaded bunching at the ankles. I will show you that a little bit later. I believe all the Henry Cavill Supermans do that, which is a bit of a shame. Now, for the positives with this 1-6 scale, it's definitely that freaking suit. It's just amazing. I don't own the Batman vs. Superman version, um, so I can't compare this one with that, but I have compared him with my Man of Steel, and this blue on this suit, it just really pops. Also, the detail in, in it, um, you can see, we'll, we'll look a little bit later, but you can see all the, it's just really well done, it's got all these patterns on it, it's just, just amazing, even the, even the Superman logo is really, really vibrant, it's just a really awesome piece. When you've got him on your display cabinet or your shelf, it just really, really stands out. So it's an awesome, awesome 1-6 scale. Now what we'll do is we will zoom in now and take a closer look at some of the detail on this, this guy. And we'll start off in with his feet. As you can see there, the boots are really nicely done. And you can see there what I was talking about with the, the pattern on his suit, that mesh style pattern that he's got, it just really makes it pop. The cape is really long too. I like the, the size of the cape. 
it sits really nice on him. We'll move up now towards the chest area. So there you can see what I was talking about with the pattern on that is throughout the suit. As he's just spinning around, you'll see see on the arms there, even just underneath or on the bicep, it's got like this other pattern. And it also has that on the Superman logo, which I will show you a little bit later in the video. You can see the awesome work on it. Awesome piece. And there you can see what I'm talking about. The cape just sits really nice on him compared to the Man of Steel where it sat really, really high up on his neck. This one sits really nice. We'll move on up now towards his head. And then you can see the head sculpt there. And I think it's it's pretty pretty spot on. You can clearly see Henry Cavill there. I know a lot of people say that the Man of Steel one is still the best. Well, I think they're equally good. You can just see what I mean by the cape, how it just sits really nice on his shoulders. If you own the Man of Steel one, it sits really high up on his neck. This one sits really nice. And the detail, you can see the detail on that suit. It's got like a silver chrome, I don't know what it is, underneath the suit. So it makes it pop even more. Now we'll move on, we'll take him off the stand, rotating stand, and we'll, we'll get into how much movement you get with this guy. So before we get into the movement, we're just going to take a look at this detail. Look at that. You can just see the, the definition in his body there. I'll see if i just get it closer so you can see what I was talking about with that detail on his Superman logo. I'll just try and get in focus. I don't know if you can see just there. You can see that pattern, and also runs through on his bicep. Really, really well done. And there's the dreaded creasing on the boots. There's nothing you can do about that. Now, you get a bit of movement in the feet area. As you can see there, you can move his feet all the way around. His knees bend quite well. You just got to be careful of the suit as it creases up. His legs do go about that far forward. And back you get a little bit, not too much. Upper thigh moves quite well. You can do a bit of the splits, but just got to be careful you don't tear his suit. His waist area has quite a bit of movement. You can go forward and back. Quite a lot. His arms do go about that far out and forward about that much. And then back about that much. His elbow does bend quite well. His bicep does have a bit of a swivel and so does his elbow. And then his hands move quite well. You just got to be careful though of the suit because it does sit pretty low. Now his head does go about that far forward and back and you can move it side to side. And that's about all the movement you get with Superman. So just to wrap up, apart from the few things that I nitpicked on, I mean, you do get, it, it is lacking in accessories, but with Superman, he is the main accessory, so I'm okay with that. I think, for me, it's it's a must-buy. I think this is the best version that we will get so far of Henry Cavill as Superman. In saying that, I still do love my Man of Steel version, but this Superman suit is probably the best so far. It really, really is amazing once you've got it in your hand. It really pops. So there you have it. That's my review on Superman Justice League. If you have any questions regarding this 1-6 scale, hit me up in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Also check out our new Facebook group, 6 Scale Club. It's where you can Share your passion with 1-6 scales by posting pics, sharing YouTube videos on 1-6 scales and offering advice to others on 1-6 scales. That wraps up this review. I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Catch you later and as always, take care.